Hello everyone. Today, we are going to discuss a very important topic in the A-share market, how to identify whether an A-share company is falsifying. In fact, the answer is hidden in a triangle, the lying triangle. The American Anti-Fraud Standard, SAS No. 99, reminds registered accountants of the three main conditions that are usually required for corporate fraud, pressure, the motive for corporate fraud. Opportunity, the method that allows fraudulent behavior to go undetected, or after being discovered, can escape punishment. Rationalization, find a reason to maintain one's fraudulent behavior for a long time. When a company or individual decides to lie, three conditions must be met simultaneously, pressure, opportunity, and self-rationalization. First, let's look at the first angle, pressure. This is the motivation for lying. For example, in the A-share market, a listed company may lie due to reasons such as fundraising, satisfying political achievements, covering up losses, or not wanting negative news to spread. These could all constitute the pressure for lying. For instance, when we notice that a company's performance has suddenly risen significantly, but the market environment hasn't changed noticeably, this might be a sign of pressure. Speaking of which, it reminds me of the emperor's new clothes. The emperor and the ministers lied because they were afraid of being seen as incompetent. The common people lied because they were afraid of being seen as ignorant. Only children didn't lie because they had no pressure. But pressure alone isn't enough to lie, and that's when the second angle comes into play, opportunity. This is the means to lie. Look at whether there are items in the company's financial statements that are easy to fake, which might be signs of opportunity. For instance, items in some companies' financial statements such as accounts receivable, inventory, or construction in progress that form large deposits and loans, abnormal cash flows, and abnormal related transactions might become their opportunity for fraud. When pressure and opportunity both exist, a third factor is needed, self-rationalization. We can look at a company's annual report or announcements to see if there are any excuses for their performance. This might be a sign of self-rationalization. Please remember, this is just a simple method. Real auditing work requires professional knowledge and experience. But at least, through the lie triangle, we can make our investments more robust.